Hey there everybody. I have a honker big mess. Uh, it is me, Jenny, Vintage Soul Crafter. My YouTube channel has not been hijacked by some other crazy, uh, mostly naturally blonde still woman. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to get inspired. I have these projects that I had extended over from last Christmas and I've been sitting here working on, thinking my way through, trying to wrap my pea brain around this uh, Jingle Bells little golden book that um, I had picked up last year and had started to try to do something with, determined that I was going to preserve the, the golden part of the little golden book. And so, yeah, so uh, last year I, and I, I was able to do that. However, where do I go from there? I'm not totally, totally sure. Totally, totally sure. So I'm working that out. I, I really kind of like to, it's challenging for me brain to try to figure things out sometimes. And so that is what I'm doing. Um, one, one of the signatures is still basically together. You know, these things are just stapled together. Uh, so I was able to pull the staples out and preserve, but for some reason last year, I can't, please don't ask me to remember what I did a minute ago, much less why and what I did a year ago. But, um, I, I cut the first signature, I guess I thought, I don't know. I had some kind of idea. I'm not really sure. But anyway, now I am working on piecing it back together and seeing if I can still maintain the little golden part of it somehow. The issue is uh, is that it's going to be too big. So I'm, I'm trying to piece back the first signature together. And then I'm going to incorporate other, you know, cardstock bits and stuff. I tend to always make my journals too fatty. I know I'm I, from watching other people um, much more expert at doing this with great, vast experience compared to me. Um, they, they, of course, because, you know, but I'm not a physics, physics major either. So it takes me a while to figure these things out. But the more things you put, is it on the inside, the more you get the alligator mouth. Um, and then the more, so you have to kind of spread it out. I think, I think that's how it goes. Anywho, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent certain, um, but I'll, I'll figure it out and I am figuring it out. So, but yeah, this is going to be too, too big now to, um, you know, I was thinking I could recover the binding from the inside to preserve it, but but then I still have to cut down, which is probably why I cut the first signature apart in the first place last year. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, I don't know why. I break out in song. Like, my husband will say something and I sing it. I, I know, I cannot tell on Jeopardy when we play Jeopardy, I cannot tell you who the band is or what the name of the song is, but if you ask me to sing a couple of uh, runs from it, I can do that for you. I can do that. Um, anywho, this this will be too big going this way, so I'm going to have to work something out with this, but I'm still kind of, I get my mind stuck to something, and I just, oh, I'm like a, I'm like my oldest bulldog. I won't let it go. I won't let it go. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway. I just thought I would kind of, you know, share that with you and and what I'm doing. And then also wanted to share with you my completed first homemade, fully homemade traveler's notebook. I have made the inserts and I knew there was a reason I needed to go to Michael's today. And that reason is also all coming back to me now. And that was to get uh, crimps. I could have sworn I had crimps. But if I do, I plum don't know where they are. So anywho, uh, thanks to Bonnie. Yes, Bonnie, once again, once again, oh to Bonnie for helping guide me. I made some fatty mistakes with this. And so again, embracing the art of imperfection which goes beautifully with this for my twin niece who also has a, you know, I've done that. Okay, old, let it go. Um, killed it. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And so here it is. 
And these are all, if I didn't share that before, all reclaimed fabrics from different bits and pieces of clothing, bits and pieces of clothing. I gotta do my thing, you guys. I gotta do what I do. And that is that is that silly British accent thing that anyway. Um so this this is maybe I spend too much time home alone. I need more adult interaction, perhaps. I don't know. So yeah, so I put little beads on here and um, I will open it up for you. So I wanted to crimp those so that they don't slide around and they just stay there. I will, I did do one thing that, eh, it's not a mistake, but it's just something that my niece will have to get used to when she opens this up. And that is to take the rubber band, the elastic off of the bottom because on the back, as part of, uh, dealing with one of my mistakes, I did um, sew on this bead, but you know what? I think it's worth it. Some of the best mistakes are happy mistakes. If it wasn't for mistakes, perhaps we would not have penicillin. Um, yeah, so I, I like that, but if she tries to take the elastic over, you know, it, it tends to. I've done it a couple times, and it tends to get caught on there. This was a fun opportunity to use all of my different stitches, which also are not perfect. And, um, you know, I, I had to move around and I had to move this through the sewing machine and so on and so on, get it, and so on. Um, but yeah, so it's not, so you know how many times you just don't know how many times you repeat yourself until you start making YouTube videos. And you say so, and anyway, and anywho, and oh, it is so humbling, you guys. It's so humbling. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Anyway, uh, yeah, here, going around this, you know, it's, it's so far from perfect, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful because you know what? Like I've said before, that's what I love about nature and gardening is that it is perfect in its design, but each each individual uh, like flower, if you were to look at them, each little part of them, each petal, you would see that they are not perfect. There's going to be spots on them. Maybe in heaven, they will be perfect. There will be no spots. There will be no rust. There will be no obnoxious aphids or anything like that. No, no grasshoppers to um, eat them. And if there are those critters, they won't be destructive. That's the point. So yeah, and, and if you look at like a daisy and you pluck it, so often a daisy is missing a petal or seems to be based on, you know, from our eye and so forth. And that's what I love. But if you look at a garden, if you look at the whole garden, it's beautiful. It's, it's stunning. So that's, that's what I love about art. That's what I love about doing something like this. It's all these pieces of fabric put together that feel so extraordinary under my hand. The textures, the levels, the little bit of puffiness that, that comes from having sewn this iron on or put this iron on transfer um, over this, which yes, Bonnie, I am glad you talked me into using it because it is perfect and I do love it and it's it's lovely. And it, it for me, it goes as far as the colors, the blending, and the theme as well as I think for my niece who may or may not disagree that she is a recovering perfectionist not a recovering imperfectionist but a recovering perfectionist uh, like myself um, in process that that it is true and it is a lesson to be learned every day every moment that life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful so anyway this is the front and what I ended up doing <laughs> was sometimes I get ahead of myself and I attached, ugh, I can't really remember right now. I attached one part before I should have. Oh, right. I was supposed to, oh, I don't even remember you guys. I attached it somehow wrong, bass backwards, upside down. I don't know. So that then I was left with the the inside exposed, or I can't even remember you guys, but it's okay, it's okay. It just presented the opportunity to make more pockets on the inside, and that's what I did, because because I ended up wanting to cover up the inside, 
uh, as, as instead of having it just be cardboard, which I used cardboard because talk about other mistakes. I purchased the, you know, the, um, what is that? So in, you know, you know, the stuff I'm, you know, you know, the stuff I'm talking about that, that stuff, that sewing stuff, all you seamstresses out there know what I'm talking about. It's sitting right there, but I can't see it because my eyes, Pelix, the sew in the firm. Anywho, I use cardboard. It doesn't matter. Um, it works, and I and I uh, I used you know I made yeah uh, suddenly English is not my native language. Um, I scored it, and so that it would have a nice bend, a nice fold to it, and so yeah. So here I will take these out, and I went ahead and got these. I have a couple of traveler's notebook inserts that I could that I made that are listed in my Etsy shop, but they don't have enough pages. And my niece is an avid, uh, avid journaler. So I wanted her to have lots of pages. Those are more artsy and fun, just kind of meant to inspire. But anyway, that I, I made them out of file folders. So here we go. So there's a pocket on this outside that fits. She could actually, does it fit the, yeah, it would fit. This is a passport book. So it fits a passport book just fine. There's also, not that I would put, put it on the outside, my passport, but it'll fit a plane ticket. It fits lots of stuff. Um, and then there is a pocket on the outside, and that's kind of part of the happy accident. I wanted to do pockets, but I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do them. And then there's also a pocket on the inside. This one's not as thick so or as wide rather so it won't fit um, the passport thing with the cover the passport with the cover but it would it would possibly fit just your passport if you wanted to put it in there on the inside and then because of one of my happy mistakes um, I did I didn't want to just see too much of the sewing on the inside because it was kind of all over the place as you can see from me doing all of this so I went ahead and sewed on this other bit of fabric and created two more pockets on the inside so that she has all kinds of places to stick extra little doodads and gizmos and things and whatnots. And then I also made, I only have a pencil right here, so a little, um, you know, pen pocket. Obviously a pencil is longer than most standard pens. It's not extremely long and she can use it or not use it. But anyway, it's pretty. I like it. And then the one that Bonnie had, the sample that she gave me, um, instead of tying off the two elastics on the inside, she had these, um, you know, crimps. And this isn't actually a crimp, what a crimp is like made for, made for, but it's a uh, it's another jewelry um, doodad. Uh, and so I went ahead and, and used it and crimped it, and it's going to work fabulously. So, yeah, um, got the eyelets in and figured out how to do a double eyelet so that it didn't have the rough, the rough edge. These aren't actually meant to be double eyelets, but I took a larger eyelet and then... Um, Put those through and then on the other side where it's kind of jagged I did a, um, a smaller eyelet back in the other direction and, and I think it worked I think it worked just well so yeah so now she has plenty of places I went ahead and got her one of these nice you know thick craft text again could make this easily probably gonna look at this and duplicate it so that I can make many more and because I really want to make myself one of these now, I went ahead and got her, you know, one of these um, outside things so she can put all of her identification stuff and additional pencils. I just ordered this one off of uh, off of eBay. So let me open it up here, you know, so she can put extra stuff like that, plane tickets, whatever, whatever. I mean, if she is the kind of person who likes to print out her plane tickets. I don't know. I will find out because we will be traveling, as I mentioned, uh, to Thailand along with my daughter this coming Christmas in December and getting to do a lot of fun things that I have not been able to do there in the past. 
And I'm really looking forward to, to scoping out and picking up some items that I can share with you guys that I can list on my, on my Etsy shop. Did you guys know that the actual original Midoris, the, the leather Midoris, that's Thai leather, that's from Thailand. So I'm hoping to run across some of that cool kind of stuff I know from having been there before and I'm not trying to brag or anything you guys it's not I'm, I hope it doesn't sound that way because I'm not a bragger uh, this is you know every every now and then I get to do these kinds of trips and they are a real privilege and I have an extraordinary husband who's very kind and loving and generous with me and um, gives me his blessing to do these things as he works hard for his money and I'm working hard for a little bit of extra money to be able to do this as well. So just wanted you to know that, but I'm excited about it. I'm excited because I, I get to go with my, our daughter and I get to go with my niece who's never been. And um, yeah, so and they have, oh, you guys, you know, like mulberry paper and all those kinds of things. They have all of that over there. And so uh, it's it's beautiful, beautiful paper. A lot of the papers that you see it like paper source, specialty papers and things like that. So I'm excited and beads and just so much um, that I'll be able to purchase hopefully over there in kind of in bulk and then bring back and share those bargains with you guys. So stay tuned for that. And I'll probably, I'm sure, be doing some sharing while I'm over there. This is the other little doodad I wanted to share with you guys. This is a, an actually, um, it was in one of those at the antique fair the last time I went. It was in one of those, you know, like pick up one of those boxes that has like so much stuff in it and you can you can pick it up for 25 cents or whatever and it's leather and it's really nicely um, been really nicely engraved you know when they do leather they use special tools I don't know if you know this where they stamp it and and as well as like engrave it out and so someone did a did a nice job I don't know if this is from Mexico or South America somewhere perhaps uh, Central America but anyway it's I mean it has seen I cleaned it all up uh, the little brass um, button part that was holding the the change area together uh, had just really deteriorated so I pulled that off I love the fact that you know whoever loved this wallet really really loved it and they have a pin here to hold it together. I'm going to see if I can get that. I'm going to hand stitch that probably back together. But it's got great little pockets and stuff and just nice sub subtle, 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 no, it's not subtle, subtle uh, leather and, and stuff. And the fab thing about it is that it looked to me like it would be, and look, it is the perfect size for a standard traveler's notebook. All B. It needs a little elastic going through it, uh, and I think it needs to be, you know, maybe girlied up a bit. I've been, I've been thinking on it, and I'm probably going to watch some, some videos. I just feel like, uh, like Nazi at Amity Bloom would probably take this thing and make something so extraordinary out of it uh, that I, I feel a little inadequate. But um, I'm going to really think on it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to attack it. I usually just dive right in and go for it. Because what the heck? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Right? But with a little bit of lace, I don't know. I don't want to cover it up too much. Like, I could completely cover this with with different... Um, oh, yeah. It's from Mexico. It says it right up there. So, cool. Um, I could can cover it up, but I don't really want to. Because it's, it's beautifully, beautifully engraved. And... Um, stamped you know so yeah it needs to be probably a little restitched right there so anyway I just thought I'd share that with you because it is it excites me and otherwise I think oh the other little thing there's lots of things that I'm working on but the other little kind of thing that I have sitting here, here right now is this is one of those shopping bags that you get and Otis loves when we leave these sitting around and he got a hold of this one and just like started to tear it up and shake it up and um <laughs> if Tom were here right now we'd be saying shake it up Judy shake it up and that's from a, a Dickens um oh, what is the name of it why do I quote things and then I can't tell you where they're from it was on Netflix oh Bleak House it's from Dickens Bleak House oh my gosh if you ever have a chance to see that it's in like three 
three to six parts, I think. It's fantastic. It's so, it's fantastic. And, and if you see it, Bleak House, B-L-E-A-K House, H-O-U-S-E. Uh, if, if you see it, there's a character in there, a fantastic actor. I can't remember his, his name, but I've seen him in lots of stuff because I watch so much British television and movies. But um, he says, shake me up, Judy. He's in a wheelchair. So anyway, uh, Otis shook this up. And but I thought, oh, this is kind of like like the stuff that these passport covers and whatnot are made out of. So stay tuned. If I if I make something, that's the plan, like another passport cover. It's not my favorite, you know, um, pattern and stuff, but it's tropical. It's it's cool. It's fun. So we'll see what I can do with that. And yeah, I think you guys, I think that's it. I just thought I'd stop in and say hey and and thank you and thank you for for those of you who have left such lovely, nice comments, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm happy that um, something I say makes you chuckle or laugh or smile. I, I, I do enjoy making people smile. And um, otherwise, I will talk with you all again soon. Thanks. Bye.